Hi guys, let's do more complicated our logic for trading using vector bt library. Uh, so I just remember for you we're going to use combination parameters Jupyter Notebook, and this is a file from my GitHub from uh, folder uh, vector bt. Okay, so um, in the in the past uh, we did uh, strategy for RCI and moving average and we find the base parameters for multiply of tickers and next we need to, to combine this uh, two st strategy so let's uh, do it uh, we have two way how we could uh, uh, develop this idea for example let's create uh, some function like get signals and we have a few parameters like our uh, pandas data frame and uh, first window it would be parameters for um, it would be parameters for moving average um, where is RCI window for example parameters for our indicators uh, RCI and because uh, we need to create a fast uh, moving average and slow moving average and, uh, and next we need to find some co uh, some combination and you see uh, we could use this condition for example if uh, fast would, would be more than slow and another condition if RCI would be less than 25 and we got entries uh, from these uh, parameters it will be like signal and the similar idea for exits and we're going to return entries and exits so th this logic uh, it means we could uh, uh, use um, uh, some uh, compare uh, logic and additional rules uh, using multiply of another strategies and let's do it for example what we got and you see, for example, we have um, uh, another uh, profitable ideas. Let's look in on the previous. For example, if we are going to use only RCI strategy, we, uh, we got uh, only uh, profitable ideas for Luna SDT. And for moving average, uh, we have uh, several ideas uh, uh, with a profitable, uh, with a positive. Uh, uh, profit following SDT, ETS SDT, for example, and also XRP SDT. Let's look at, for example, XRP SDT um, get is about 25% uh, for the last uh, half of year. And let's look in on the our strategy, what we got. Okay, you see the here uh, is about 50% uh, for the last uh, half year. But for another strategy, it would be less than before. Is for this one also less than before. Okay, it was uh, the first approach. Next, uh, we're going to create uh, custom indicators. Uh, it would be some uh, another logic. Uh, we also create a function that com uh, combine RCI and MA. Um, we input uh, several parameters like uh, our pandas data frame fast window, slow window, RCI window and top and bottom this is to compare um, ideas uh, for RCI and but you see we should return numpy object you see we call RCI this is object from this uh, indicators and we need to get a numpy object and let's do it for all our indicators for RCI, fast uh, moving average and slow moving average. Next, we need to use uh, NumPy lab library uh, to compare uh, this uh, condition. And if we get this uh, condition, uh, we indicate it by signal one, for example, by signal, and indic indicator uh, for and for another ideas would be zero. Also. Uh, we do this processing for another logic and indicate it would be minus one okay and this indicators returns for us uh, uh, free value like uh, minus one zero and one okay next what we need to do we need to uh, create some indicator factory to uh, customize our indicators we need uh, to call some class name it would be like combination rci ma short name for example RCI MA and what, what would be input names from data frame for example close data 
because uh, sometimes we have uh, multiply of columns from our pandas the frame like uh, open high low close volume for example or another indicators and next what we need to do it's uh, define our parameters names it would be fast window slow window rci window top and bottom next we are going to output value next we need to call from apply function needs uh, we use this class and we apply our indicators what we created uh, as a ball so uh, this is the main logic you create some indicators here and next uh, we're going to, uh, to define how to use these indicators using vector bt using indicator factory class so you could uh, do this logic more complicated uh, next let's do this testing and we identify some default values for example fast window because we identify this value like the best value when we test uh, moving average and uh, rci okay let's do it so we return object of, of this uh, indicator and this is the same like we, like we return for this one indicator for example rci okay we return uh, like results and we indicate some parameters and let's do it and you see um, for example method value cross above is available from this object what we created because we used uh, we defined these indicators into uh, our indicator factory and uh, multiply method if available from vbt okay so entries would be uh, when value cross above zero and exit uh, when value would be cross below zero but we have another logic from this one you could explore it next uh, we need to do is uh, create our portfolio and uh, calculate would be maximum return of this uh, uh, combination let's do it what happens if we combine these two ideas okay it's return or not oh, yeah it's a return uh, let's look in. and you see we have on sdt uh, our profitable uh, more than 200 percent let's look in on another the strategy what we got before it was uh, only uh, 76 percent let's look in for rci strategy it was uh, about uh, 75 percent and for moving average and you see is uh, 194 percent it means we do a logic more complicated and achieve for more beautiful results so guys you could use these tricks when you build your strategy using vector bt if you like this video subscribe on my youtube channel and see you next time